The countdown has started. Gyms are getting ready to get out of lockdown. How excited are you for the gyms reopening? Everyone's ecstatic. <laughs> It'll be really nice to just get things moving again, to see colleagues, to see members, um, and just to have things back to feeling a bit more normal. But there's a new normal here. Yellow signs remind people to keep their distance. We are COVID secure. We tick every box for that. So it is different. You have to book in advance. You come on your own. You should come gym ready. And basically you, tr you train and you leave and you have to make sure that you wipe down all the equipment after you've used it. And generally it's about being, looking after yourself and looking after your fellow users. Izzy Tobin has been waiting to get back into the gym for months. She's missed it for her body and her mind. I think it's absolutely critical to mental health for so many people. I think it's amazing how good you can feel just when you work out in your day, how it can change the entire, your entire mindset so quickly. But from people I've been talking to, the general consensus is everyone needs to get in quick as it's booking out fast, everyone's excited to get back. But locking down the gym has come at a huge financial cost. How hard has it been just closing everything down for such a long time? Well, it's a nightmare, <laughs> as you can imagine. It's a, it's a nightmare for the business, it's a nightmare for our people, and it's a nightmare for the community. We burnt all our reserves in the last 12 months. So we went from being a financially strong company. We had 20 million quid in the bank, and now we've got nothing. We're living off bank loans. Cleaner and leaner financially, gyms will reopen on Monday, cautiously taking one step at a time. Greg Martel, ITV News, Clapham.